Hey everyone, so welcome to another series of painting right here and we're going to move on to the painting of this Singapore scene and in this building scene, I use dark browns and purples to paint the buildings, right? So I have these um, buildings of, um, you know, this central business district of Singapore being done and using my brush, I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these different browns and I used purple to uh, combine with the black in order to have this uh, rich kind of purplish um, black um, dark tones and also using all these you know dark browns in order to paint the body of the building first right so i have all these um windows that are being drawn with the pencil but i'm going to use um, the brush to kind of like paint the dark areas for the building and leaving out those shapes for the windows and those lights so the thing is we need to make sure that the surroundings is dark and then later on as you can, as you'll see you know once i add the lights to the um buildings the windows that will give us a very nice kind of effect all right so using a small brush i'm just trying to make sure that you know all these black paints and all these um dark kind of paints are being are surrounding the lights area and just make sure that we leave white all these um, different windows and all these um, different shapes that I've drawn. As, as you can see right now, I'm actually painting around that, um, those windows that I just drawn. And this is very important for us to, you know, make sure that there is all these um, different windows and all these lights that are coming from those office buildings. So in this place, it's called the Raffles Place and this is um, the central business district which means that it is the financial um, center of Singapore and here you can see that you, um, there's all these you know different buildings with all these lights that shine out you know at night. And so right now you can see all these um, different kinds of lights that are being left white which will be filled in with a lighter color later. So right now we have these browns and we have all these um, browns uh, dark browns that are combined with those purples as you can see right there and it is not completely black so there's all these you know different kinds of uh, browns and different kinds of blacks and different kinds of you know all these different dark tones and that will give us all these very nice dark tones so repeating the same process for those um, parts at the bottom part and using the um, brush I'm just trying to make sure that there's all these you know lights and reflections and dark parts and purples and all these different kinds of uh, colors dark colors that I actually use um, with my brush and now I used light blues and orange to paint areas where there is light so right now this part of the building is done and it is already dry so we can use the brush to kind of like paint you know all these um, yellows and all these orange and there's all these you know very nice colors and very nice orange hues and very um, vibrant kind of scene and so we have um, again all these different light colors that are coming out so one way I actually do it is to use the small brush and paint the circumference of the light but sometimes I also paint the entire white space so that the entire white space is being filled with all these you know um, different lights and all these orange um, lights that are coming out all right so we have um, all these lights that are you know emerging from that window and right now we have you know all these um, small little areas where um, I'm actually filling in with all those light colors so one very important thing to take note is that you see all these windows are um, drawn with different shapes and all these you know different shapes are actually giving rise to a very interesting and a very um, nice kind of a contrast between you know all these different shapes and they also relate to each other and they form very interesting kind of variation because of the changes of all these shapes and there's like larger size and smaller size so again there is a variation in terms of size and so there's also a variation in terms of colors and that's what make 
the painting more interesting. So do remember that we need to, you know, change the sizes. We don't want an entire row of windows all with the same size and all, you know, with the same kind of drawing. And that can be very boring because it is too uniform, but rather we want to vary all these different sizes and different kinds of colors and different kinds of distribution as well. Um, some places we have more dense kind of windows and some places we have less dense kind of uh, windows with more buildings and more ducts. So again, repeating the same process um, on for the buildings on the right hand side. And right now we can see that we have all this orange and all these yellows and we have some purples and that can really give us all these very nice kinds of colors and uh, we are just trying to recreate those dark tones as you can see right there i actually use some purples and so some parts some of dark zones are lighter and some are darker because i use different kinds of purples and different kinds of darks and different kinds of browns and that will give us some very nice kind of darks so now I'm using this large flat brush and we're going to paint this very big kind of reflection um, on the water surface. And you can see right there actually left white some of the um, areas that um, is supposed to be the reflection right when I painted the water. So using my brush I just try to make sure that we have all these yellows in. So I used green, yellow and orange to paint the reflections on the water and I used um, purple, orange and yellow to fill in the windows where there was light. So earlier on we've seen that and um, you know I used this uh, yellow to kind of like make sure that there's all these very very um, bright kind of uh, colors and very bright kind of reflection on the water. And so using my brush, I'm just trying to blend in all these different kinds of, uh, you know, transitions and different kinds of um, edges and trying to make sure that um, these two areas are blending, blending together using the flat brush, which I'm, you know, using right now in order to blend all these different colors together. And that can really give us some very, very nice kind of, uh, you know, blending kind of effect. And using my brush, I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these, you know, um, kind of a blending. So using my brush, I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these strokes. And you can see right now, I'm trying to make those brown strokes um, across that already painted um, yellow area. And right now, because the area is pretty, is semi-dry. So the thing is, I want to make use of the wetness of the paint to help me spread out those strokes, right? When it's semi-dry, you can have this um, spreading up kind of effect, which I'm actually trying to, you know, do that. I'm um, using some of the strokes to make sure that we have all these, you know, horizontal strokes that go into the water surface. And we have this, um, you know, brush, a kind of technique in order to make sure that we have all these um, different kinds of uh, yellows and and strokes brown strokes that actually go into the water surface right so you can see right now the reflection here is actually coming pr out pretty um, good and now moving on to the right hand side where again we have that yellowish green kind of reflection and using my brush to kind of like make sure we have again all these browns that is going to be mixed together with the um, reflections so using my fingers and my brush just kind of like uh, make sure that all these strokes that go into um, the water surface and you can see right there I'm um, doing the third kind of reflection and so between the second reflection and the third reflection you can see there's an area of brown paint which I actually do to separate these two different areas and so we have the use of my brush to help me with all these strokes and again just trying to make sure that we have you know this the use of this brush to help me with um, the blending of all these you know different areas and using my brush to um, again uh, make sure we have all these strokes and you can see right there um, the effects on the of the water on the reflections is actually coming out pretty well with the blending of 
the brown with um, the green, the, the yellowish green, which is the reflections, right? So using my fingers, I'm just trying to make sure that there's all these blendings and all these kinds of, uh, you know, um, combining of these two different areas using my brush and using um, all these strokes to help me with the blending and combining. Right, so now we can move on to the top area right there. So using my brush, I'm just trying to make sure that, you know, there's this line that goes across and you can see there's a lot of areas that are left white. So those are the light areas which we'll fill in later. So again, leaving um, out this area and there's a reflection right there that is not done yet. And we will now actually proceed on to do it. So using the yellows and we have this orange i um, just trying to use my brush to actually paint all these horizontal strokes which again um, is actually showing the you know light areas and <clears throat> all the um, the movement of the water on top of the reflection so this makes it more realistic with all these kinds of uh, you know strokes and movements so using my brush I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these browns and all these you know dark browns and again uh, making sure that each part of the ref reflection is actually making up of, of slightly different colors we have that orange one and we have this yellow one which is just beside the orange one which is you know um immediately beside that brown kind of a shape that i just made all right so using my brush i just made all those brown um orange strokes that depict the water on the orange reflection right so using my brush and i'm actually kind of like um, making sure that we have all these different colors and all these different kinds of orange that is depicting all these lights and using my brush i'm just trying to make sure that there's purple there's also all these different light colors that make up the light and so right now that you can see that you know um these reflections on the water is actually coming alive with all those very nice strokes and all these very nice kind of uh, bright colors that form the reflections that is due to the light that is coming out from the buildings that is reflecting on the water surface so using my brush i'm just trying to make sure that we have all these you know orange we have all these very nice kinds of lights that is coming out Right, so now we can proceed on to the painting of the lights on top. So using my brush, I just added on all these very light colors on the circumference of all the light areas. And so, um, as I mentioned earlier, I actually used the light blues and yellows and orange and light greens and so on and so forth. And all these lights actually give rise to all these, you know, very spectacular kind of uh, lighting kind of effect that is coming out from these buildings and that is something which is um, very attractive to look at especially you know for a night scene where you know the surroundings is pretty dark and you have all these lights that are shining out from those windows and those light sources and that can give a very non mm, dazzling kind of uh, effect with all these very attractive lights that is coming out so again we are almost done with this area just using my brush to kind of like fill up fill up those um lights and we are trying to make sure that there are all these different orange and different yellows and different kinds of blues and so on and so forth so just making sure that we are, we are you know um leaving no none of these lights that are uncolored and so i'm just trying to make sure that we have all these lights covered with the paint brush uh, with the paint on the paint brush and so using all these different light colors and that will give us a very nice effect right so just trying to do all these blues and these purples and these browns and these light yellows and light pinks and so on and so forth and this is how we actually do the lights and this is how we actually do all these um, very bright windows that are shining and are giving us this very nice and attractive kind of uh, atmosphere and this kind of effect that we see uh, on this night scene of Singapore. Hey everyone, it's KY Tom here. 
Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button and comment down below. Do consider to subscribe to my channel for more art videos. Check out the links on the description below to find out more about my art and I hope to see you in the next one.